Hi guys, all you know that the skin retouching is a very important part when edit a portrait images and we have a lot of methods to do that but in Photoshop we have one tool that is very underrated can make amazing results and can save you a lot of time let me show you what I mean uh, but first uh, maybe all of the retouching methods require to clean the skin a little bit from the pimples, scars, some skin holes uh, that's why I will clean the skin a little bit first let me duplicate the layer to save the original one for reference ok, you can use any preferred method spot healing brush, remove tool, patch tool clone stamp I prefer to use remove tool I think it's the best of them for this job I do it a little bit faster because I just want to show you the skin retouching method I will not spend a lot of time to do that ok, maybe here let me zoom a little bit ok a little bit on the nose a little bit here Ok, this big scar also have to be removed Ok, I think it's enough I just want to show you the method Ok, uh, let's go to filter and click neural filters If you use uh, some kind of a pirate version of Photoshop You may cannot use neural filters That's why I will not prefer to using any pirate version just buy subscription from Adobe and support them ok we are in and the first filter is skin smoothing let's enable the filter and voila the result is amazing let me disable and enable great ok we have two sliders the blur one and the smoothness one you can play with the sliders for a better result but in the most cases the default settings are good enough I'll increase a little bit for our case let's wait to process the image ok but most important thing is the output drop down menu to be new layer not current layer but new layer I'll tell you why click ok good let me zoom a little bit ok let's disable the layer and look around the nose the shadow do you notice that the shadow becomes a little bit blurry and faded also let me zoom to the makeup and around the eyes ok the makeup becomes less sharpened and again a little bit blurry and faded that's why it's good to make the filter on the new layer and now we can just create a mask and mask that area to reveal the original image ok, let's click on the mask with soft brush, black color, opacity 100 and let's mask maybe around the nose a little bit ok let me check maybe a little bit here around the eyes and over the makeup good the other eye a little bit on the eyebrows good let me check the mount maybe a little bit here ok I think it's good let me show you before and after let me zoom the skin before and after of course if you want to make the image perfect we have to repair the lipstick maybe to remove some hair but this story is only for skin smoothing and skin retouching I think this filter uses some kind of a frequency separation method because in the same time the skin is very smooth and the skin texture is there 
Of course, you can make the frequency separation manually. I have a video for that. You can check my channel. Uh, you have more control over the skin and the skin colors, but it will take you a lot of time. And imagine if you have to edit a batch of 50 or 100 images. This tool can save you a lot of time and can achieve a perfect result. That's why I think this tool is very underrated. I hope you liked the video, subscribe with the bell for more videos and see you soon.